Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. So I want to do this video today for you guys because there is something that happens across the markets and something that is foundational to understanding how these markets work is something that's really, really important if you want to be ahead, if you want to get ahead in the markets, okay? And I did a video yes, based on this yesterday, but I really want to drive this point home a bit more here. And I did a video yesterday saying don't chase the markets. And a lot of people still don't understand these concepts of these markets. Because something is going up, and it's been going up for quite some time, doesn't mean it's going to keep going up. And if it does keep going up, if it does keep going up for, with, without some sort of a pullback, well, guess what's likely to happen then? We get, we're likely to do what? This, we're likely to see a big, sharp pullback. That's just how the markets work. If we get a very vertical, if we get a vertical move in the market, it needs to balance itself out. Then what happens? We get a pretty sharp correction, right? If you look at the Australian market recently, right? I haven't got a chart on me, but look at the Australian market recently had, is what? Getting a sharp pullback. Wonder why? Because for the last month, we've had a very big move up and now we're getting a bit, a bit of a sharp pullback. Same for people that were looking at TR, uh, T, T -O -R -Y, right? So many people looking at this. So if I bring this up through here, right? Look at this here. And if I bring up that weekly chart, I'll bring up the daily chart, right? Look at this here, right? We had a very big, a very big move up, right? A very big move up from $20 up to this here. Guess what happened? Because this had a big move, the media got it um, and, and all that sort of stuff. And when, and when, when, when the media starts to get something, guys, that's the, you, shouldn't be tra you shouldn't be trading back then, right? You shouldn't be, because when the media is talking about something, that's generally the opposite of what they're saying. If they start talking about how well the property market is doing, you probably want to back off a little bit. If they're talking about how well a particular market is doing, you probably want to back off a bit, right? Because they're, they're always late to, to, to the party. Right, same with TLRI, right? It's like this market took off, blah, 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 and they think it's gonna keep going up, and guess what, we get a bit of a sharp pullback. That's how the markets work. So no matter what, what, what market you're looking at right now, or no matter what's happening right now, if you get a nice move up, that's why I say don't chase the market because when it, because if the market just keeps going up and up, there will be a point in time where we get a sharp pullback, and you're more likely to be buying it towards the top of that move and not the next start of the move, okay? So please, please don't do that. This also happened with um, with natural gas as well too. If I go back to, right, natural gas. Look at this here. Natural gas what? Took off. What happened here at natural gas? Oh, I saw everyone starting to get ahead of Natural gas, it took off. It's going to keep going up, right? We, we think it's going to keep going up. But that's not what, once again, guys, that's not what, how the markets work, right? Let me bring this over here. There we go. Right, so we had a big move up, and guess what? This very big move up, then went sideways for a bit, then guess what? We had a very, a very sharp pullback. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen with gold right now, um, or any market right now. I'm just saying that if you see a big vertical move up, then you've got to expect at some point we're going to go through a bit of a resting phase, a bit of a pullback. It's just how the markets work. And if something gets, if something has a very big move in one direction, then it's it's, got, it's just a matter of time before we see a sharp pullback, right? Or a, or a resting phase or something like that. So don't chase the markets. The suck, this is what we call a very big sucker rally. It gets people in, it gets, the market just takes off and two, three, four days later, guess what? Everyone's talking about it. That's when everyone gets involved with it and then guess what? It turns against you. This is exactly what happened with Bitcoin, right? 17,000, 18,000, everyone was talking about it. Even a news broadcast is like, this just seems like easy money. It just keeps going up. <laughs> Bitcoin went down like the 3,000, didn't it? <laughs> right? It's the same thing. I'm trying to give you many examples here to say, listen, guys, the market, the market, you know, um, the market will give you these sucker rallies and don't be fooled by them step back and be rational about the way that you're trading. Don't be emotional. Don't be fearful of missing out. Don't be like, oh, I've got to get in, got to get in, got to get in, got to get in. No, wait for a good time. Wait for a good pullback, right? Some of these people that are saying on YouTube right now, it's like, oh, well, da, 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 da. it's like, no. Even if you're looking for investing positions, you still got to, you still got to, you still got to make sure you're waiting for a good time to enter, even in an investing position, right? Because you never know what's going to happen. Gold could just go sideways for a year before it continues up in a bull market or may, may not. We never know. 
So stop trying to think that you actually know what's going to happen moving forward because we can never know. What you can do is making sure when you're getting into positions, you're giving yourself the best chance, the highest probability of getting in at a good time um, for that particular position, right? Because if you think, oh, we know what's going to happen, so it's all good. And I hear so many, and I've heard a few comments of people saying that um, I've got a whale of a position. I've got a big, massive position on this thing here. You're doing way, way, way. You're taking way too much risk, way too much risk. Because what happens if the market doesn't do that? What happens if gold doesn't go in a big bull market? What happens if silver and gold or silver and gold stocks start to tank a little bit? If you are in a whale of a position and you're leveraged to the hilt or you've got a big massive position and you've got too much risk on your account, what if that happens? Are you protecting yourself? Always protect yourself. You never know what's going to happen. That's why I say don't when don't chase the market. Don't be fooled by these sucker rallies. When the market goes up, yes, you may miss out on some upside. Doesn't matter. It's not about that. It's not about missing out. It's about every time you trade, you trade the market where you can be part of this thing, this this thing called trading for a long, 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 long time. All right. And so many people out there, they're so they're trying to chase the market and chase the market and chase the market. And as I said before, right, with silver and gold right now, yes, I do see a big bull market to come. But we never know what's going to happen, right? What happened for some reason if Donald Trump comes out and the government comes out and they do this massive stimulus plan once again and they inject it like the big massive stimulus plan and they send the stock market up to 30,000? What's likely to happen to silver and gold then? We never know, right? That may that that may that may take that that may take some uncertainty out of the market where silver and gold are going to relax for a bit and may have a bit of a pullback for a while and not do nothing for a whole year or whatever, right? We never know. So please throw your ego at the window. I never know, even though I have a really high successful trading system that I trade every day. I never know exactly what that trade is going to do. I get in, I have good risk management, I have good stop management, and some of the trades are making small profits and some of them are home runs. We never know, right? We never know what's going to happen in the markets. And so you must approach that with every time you do trade and every time you do get involved in the markets, you must approach it like that. So I've spent almost 20 hours studying the past boom and crashes in the markets. We're talking about the 1987 crash, 2001 crash, and the 2007 crashes. And one thing I've noticed amongst all these crashes is that there is two patterns that actually form in these markets. Now, the first pattern is a signal that there is a potential top in the markets, and the second pattern is like a confirmation before we start the bear market or that crash. And I've studied this, and what's happening right now in the markets is we have just formed the very first pattern in today's market right now, and all we're looking for is the second pattern. So over the last 20 hours, I've noticed all these have very, very, very similar patterns, and these two patterns show up again and again and again. And I've spent 20 hours looking at this. So this is what I'm gonna do right now. As you know that I have the Trading Secrets Weekly, I've just launched this where every single week I do live coaching and training, and you can get a free trial for one week as well too, if you go to tradingsecretsweekly.com. In my next training and coaching session, I'm going to be sharing with you the two patterns that have formed over 1987, the 2001, and the 2007, and I'm going to share with you exactly what those two patterns are and how the uh, how, how the first pattern has already formed in the stock market right now, and all we need now is the second pattern to form to start the potential next bear market. If you are interested in that, and I'm so, so, so excited to share with this, go to tradingsecretsweekly.com right now, sign up for your one-week free trial, and I'll see you on my next live training, and you'll be able to see that all in detail. So go to tradingsecretsweekly.com, and I'm going to share with you all the details. I'm going to show you the 1987, 2001, the, the uh, 2007, and how the very first pattern is already formed in the market right now. I'm going to show you exactly what it is and also what to look for in the next second the, the second pattern because if the second pattern forms, it's going to be absolutely amazing on the downside. And once you're ready for it, you can do really, really, really well. So go to tradingsecretsweekly.com right now, sign up, grab your free trial, and I'll look forward to seeing you on my next training and coaching session where I'm going to share with you all the details. So go do that right now. Go to tradingsecretsweekly.com, sign up for your free trial, and I'll see you on the next coaching session.